Right, so this is just a quick um, tutorial on how to make uh, WSD custom keyboard layouts in Inkscape. Um, here's a couple of examples of the printing quality. Um, they are, I suppose, quite quite good. Um, I'm really, really happy with mine. It's just arrived. Um, but the instructions on the site weren't quite as simple as I thought they could be. So this is just a quick guide on how to do it. So basically you need to start by going to support on WSD keyboards, um, download the corresponding layout file um, depending on which keyboard you want. Um, so these two are for Inkscape, um, so let's download the 104 key um, that my internet can sign on that, and then you need Inkscape, so just go to download at inkscape.org and download the um, whichever you know Inkscape will work with your computer. Um, so basically, then you open it once you've installed Inkscape uh, with Inkscape. Apparently, double clicking on the image can cause problems rather than actually just going to open the file. I personally haven't experienced any issues. But this is what you're presented with. Um, so here's what will be your keyboard and here's the instructions provided by WSD keyboards. Um, basically, best place to start is Control shift l to bring up your layers and this might actually come up in a window up here and you can just pop that out so it's nice and big and easy to see. Um, and obviously you just select what keys you want for starters I suppose, so let's go Windows 7, um, Modern Mods, and then let's go Alpha Large Font. So there you go, there's a, a really simple keyboard um, design. You can actually, by pressing um, F1, select uh, things and move them around, and F8 is um, F8 is to type, so whatever you want written on your keys, um, you can put there, so etc etc um, and then F1 if you want to move them around um, so nice and simple um, next what we need to do is go back to our layers and um, basically we want to put a layer below our clipping mask that should be unlocked I believe I'm not sure if that's particularly important but so let's go layer um, I'm not sure if that put it in so we'll try again there we go so what we want to do though is move it below the clipping mask layer. Um, now we want to have this layer selected when we import an image. Um, so I'm just going to chuck this one in here and it should be M'd. So it's just dragging and dropping onto that layer. Um, and this will take a little while to come in because it's a nice big image of Togusa from Ghost in the Shell. Um, and then by holding control, oops, we can size this down evenly or we can just free drag it if we want so that's up to you um, but I think keeping it sort of to scale is good so then let's say we wanted it to be roughly there and you can still see where the grid is um, underneath so then basically all we have to do is select the image itself um, and then shift click on if I could do it. Shift click here, um, sorry not on one of the keys, on the space kind of next to the keys and then shift click on the outside. So now it's got both selected and then we want to go uh, object, clip and set. And that hasn't worked. Object, clip, set. There we go. Um, so then basically, I'm not sure why that didn't work but that's okay. Um, you can obviously see that that doesn't fit particularly nicely um, on his eyes, for example. So, yeah, you know, go um, Control Z and then you select your image, move it around, get his eyes, for example, in the holes nicely, if that's what you're into. Maybe down here. Um, and then you rinse and repeat, so you select both. Um, and then go Object clip set and there you go so that's how it will look um, now 
as far as layers go, if you want to get a real idea of what the keyboard will look like, because um, obviously the grids aren't printed, uh, printed, and the grids are just a line. There's uh, there's no actual rule like they will print to the edge of the key, so the grids are just for for you know working out where stuff will fit in relation to the rest of it. So you can turn them off to have a look at sort of the genuine image that you'll be seeing. Um, so that's pretty much it. Although it does say, oops. Um, to basically go path, object, path, object, path, control shift C, in other words, which turns your fonts and text to vector data, which is what they want for sort of um, speed of processing and printing and that kind of stuff. So um, F1 is obviously select things and F8 is type. So if you select uh, that file and control shift C, it then basically makes it a vector, so it's no longer selectable. I can type stuff around it, but I can't select the B. So you go through um, and do that to all of them, and it basically makes it like an image, I suppose, in layman's term. Um, so it's safe, and obviously file, save as to you know wherever you want to save. Um, let's go yes on that one. Um, and then we go back to the WSD keyboards um, and select the corresponding keyboard that we were looking at and that's the keycap set. Let's go to mechanical keyboards. Um, and then when you get to this section here you just choose your file. Um, so I have a few others here but I think it was that one. No it was that one there actually. So open that, you write a note saying, you know, whatever you want to say, select your switches. Um, I personally use browns because I do a lot of uni work and a lot of gaming. And then if you want dampness, if you don't like it loud, but I don't know if you can hear my keyboard in the background, it's not particularly loud at all. And then when you're using a custom image, you have to have a completely one coloured uh, keyboard. So if you want it to be all black, go all black. If you want it to be all white, you know, go through and make it all white. Or if you want it to be all red, go through and make it all red. Um, and that's pretty much it. They'll get it to ASAP when you order it in. Um, I live in South Australia and it only took, uh, I think it was six days to get here on standard shipping, international shipping. So I was very impressed. Um, but other than that, there's you know, obviously this is the simplest way here to design your keyboard if you don't want to use a custom image, but um, I really like the fact that WSD is so unique in that sense. So, yeah, I hope this helped a bit. Um, not being particularly good with Photoshop or any experience with Inkscape previously, it took me a little bit to figure out how to do it quickly. So, I hope this helps. Um, cheers.